Here in front of me, I've got a diecast set from Mini Station. Pretty new diecast brand on the market, if I'm right. Uh, 164 scale. Here we have the back of the package. Freeze the frame if you want to read it. Uh, barcode, article number. Here's the side. And here is the other side. Okay, I think we have to push to get it out. Yep, there it comes. And you see three packages inside. So here we've got a trailer. We got a VDUP Type 1, Stella Artois. And here we got the Porsche for on the trailer. Okay, let's start with the Volkswagen Type 1 first. Nice packaging. Comes in a display case. I like that. Is there maybe some more information here that says anything about licensed products? Uh. Oh yeah, this is also very important. It's good that they uh, place this on the package. Long-term exposure to direct sunlight or bright spotlight may cause damage. If you have a display cabinet, <laughs> don't let the sun shine on it because it will ruin your products inside and also the package uh, okay let's see open it like this yeah here in the back mini station this is the first product I have from the brand Mini Station. Yeah, this looks really awesome. Nice custom. Limited edition, 202 of 499. Yes, I call that limited. I think that is very limited. Definitely die cast. Ooh, and a license plate, VDUP T pickup. Here we see the tow bar for the trailer. Um, I am also, ooh, we got some air intake here. Um, let's see if we have some light to shine in the interior. There we go. Okay, we got a good steering wheel. Not much details on the dashboard. Um, let's have a look at the seats. Seats look pretty good. Um, let's take this beauty of the base. Okay. Okay, here we can see, oh, metal base. Hey, what do I see here? This is very interesting. So I see the logo of Time Micro right here. That means, or I think that it means that it comes from the Time Micro factory. And that's not a bad thing because Time Micro produces really cool diecast models and also very good quality. Oh, there was some glue here on the side. Okay, the wheels are rolling. That's a good thing. And I also think the profile is pretty good looking. And we got normal screws. So if you want to do something with it, take it apart, whatever that is possible. Okay, let's uh, put this right here and then we go to the trailer. Trailer feels very light. Yeah. Go. 
doesn't come in a display case. And I think that's also one reason why it feels so light. But it is very well protected. Oh, cool. Ah, that is nice. So these slide out and you can put them back in. Oop, there they come out again. Um, but I can tell you, this is made out of metal. Uh, again, the wheels are rolling good. Uh, yeah, this is this is plastic. I like this kind of way that they are sliding out and they are not loose in the package. This here is screaming for some accessories. I think I've got a couple, so. That is no problem here. Stella Artois here on the front. And okay, you can adjust this, but it's loose. So if I put a trainer right here, yeah, it will go down. It won't stay there. You have to put a car on it and then it will probably uh, And like that. Okay. So we're almost there. Last thing to do is take this beauty out of the package. Yeah, same box as the VDUP. By the way, I bought this on AliExpress and I will leave a link where I bought it in the description. Be fast, be quick, because 499 pieces is not that much. How do we know for sure that they made 499 pieces? We don't. So it's also possible that they made a lot more. I'm not saying that it that it's true but well you know okay you ooh, I like this one I already like this red detail right here we got a Porsche logo in front lanced headlights windscreen wipers are on top of the glass we see a brake disc we see a brake claw in red nice rims by the way uh, good profile <laughs> and I'm also curious about the interior yeah that's a very good looking steering wheel and some details on the dashboard no color details okay, here it is here we have the back Raw weld on the license plate. I like that, especially because it's a racing car. RWB, and there is a name. Not sure how to pronounce that. Yeah, big spoiler here in the back. Okay, let's take this thing off the base. We go. Not sure if I haven't showed you this. Hey, limited edition, three hundred sixty-four out of four hundred ninety-nine. Okay. And here we got the base. Yeah, and again, a Time Micro logo right here, and a metal base. And even the wheels are rolling. I was not expecting that. In the beginning, oh, and you see also the brake disc or the brake claw is not moving when you spin the wheel. So that's a good thing. 
Yeah, Time Micro is definitely improving. The models already were very good. But it's getting better and better. Okay. Let's lower the camera a little bit. I think this is a beautiful set. Uh, they already released a couple of more sets. And also good to know, you can buy these loose. So if you want only the pores, you think that feed up is not really my thing. Or uh, you can buy the feed up. Totally understand. I bought the complete set so I can show you the whole package. A little bit of a wobbling wheel here in the front. Do you see that? Wop, wop, wop. Yeah, awesome set. Uh, let me know what you think about this set from a mini station. Um, yeah, what can I say? Have a very good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You really helped me with that. And I'll see you soon. Happy hunting. Bye.